So back in 2013, two IIT Madras graduates, Tarun Mehta and Swapnil Jain, they had a dream to build electric scooters designed from the ground up in India. And today that dream is public. Aether Energy is now listed on the Indian Stock Exchange. And guess who the biggest winner is? It's IIT Madras. So let's break it down. Look, Aether wasn't born in a garage. It was born in a lab, specifically at the IITM incubation cell and the IITM Rural Technology and Business Incubator. So when no one wanted to take a bet on hardware in India, IIT Madras did. So they gave Aether engineers the lab space, early funds, and more importantly, the belief. And now they're reaping the rewards. IIT Madras is offloading a small part of its stake in the the IPO. So the IITM incubation cell is offloading 31,050 shares for approximately 1 crore rupees. The IITM RTBI is offloading over 4,000 shares for 13.45 lakh rupees, whose original cost was somewhere around 34,000 rupees only. So that's nearly a 40 times return on the original investment. But here's the best part. They still hold 13.4 lakh and 1.8 lakh shares respectively post-listing that is. So this isn't just a financial win, right? It's a validation of India's deep tech and academic startup ecosystem. And Tarun Mehta said it best. Today's a big day for all those crazy ones. It is a validation of the belief that hardware startups can scale and young engineers can build tech in India. But remember, Aether's journey wasn't smooth. It faced tough competition from Ola, TVS, Bajaj, Hero, and more such companies. But it stuck to its core fundamentals, which is ground-up product design, real intellectual property, and a bold bet on Indian engineering. And the IPO proves it, right? Because that bet just paid off. Look, the IPO size is about 2,981 crore rupees, and it's oversubscribed of up to 1.43 times. And co-founders Tarun and Swapnil to earn 15.2 times returns each, with investors Tiger Global earning 8.3 times the original investment, and other investors somewhere around 1.6 to 1.7 times their original investment. But IIT Madras still gets the highest return on a near zero cost investment. Look, this is a time where EV companies are facing scrutiny, there's scams, there's startup failures, and Aether's listing is a rare story of integrity, engineering, and more importantly, patience. And at the heart of it stands an institute that believed in building and not just funding, and also about what happens when India's best engineers are given the freedom to dream and a lab to build in. So basically, it went from a prototype to a public company. So IIT Madras didn't just back a startup, they might just be building a legacy of hardware startups in India. What about you? Did you subscribe to the Aether IPO? Or are you holding out for the long haul and booking gains early given the EV market headwinds? So let us know in the comments below, because what happens next in India's EV story might just start with this IPO. Subscribe for more such interesting stories, because think AI, think deep tech, and think AIM.